Here we are, we just got dropped off at Table Rock State Park. We're starting on our 76 mile journey of the Foothills Trail, going from Table Rock to Oconee. The goal today is to get uh, over Sassafras, which are about nine and a half miles from, and then find a camp spot towards the other side of Sassafras. So, we'll update you in a little bit. Oh, well, this is gonna come out on camera, but we're walking through a cloud of fog and it's really, really cool. Coming up on a cool little waterfall. A little over two miles in on the foothills trail so far. That is cool. That's a cool overhang. Yep. Except somebody had to graffiti it though. This is the top of Pinnacle Mountain. We're not 100% sure, but we're going up this little rock face in the rain. Hopefully, we won't slip and fall. anymore we are walking into the clouds looks like we're walking into a, a storm climbing up this mountain but man it may be cloudy and foggy but that breeze and that little mist feels awesome we are on bald knob I don't really know the elevation. I'm assuming it's around 2,900 to 3,000 feet in elevation. But this is uh, our panoramic view. Pretty sure we started at zero. Got some nice clouds to look at. And it's pretty chilly. four miles off the trail on the foothills trail and we came across this view which is right on the trail but you can see a good ways especially now since the clouds have dissipated this is nice
coming up on some cool looking cave. Oh, that's a turn my ankle. You want to go see who lives in the cave? No. <laughs> All right. You don't either, do you? No, I was just joking. Cool. I think it's cool though, but we'll keep on. Well, now we've come to a spot that's a little sketch. We gotta walk across this wet rock. Holding on to this cable. Let's do this and not die. You know what? What? Oh, that's not real slick. You can do it. I mean, it's, it's slick if you don't step right. Yeah. I don't really understand what good this is supposed to do. It's supposed to keep you from falling. That's what good it's supposed to do. I still don't. So right now it's about almost two o'clock. The bottom has come out on this storm. It's thundering and lightning. We still probably have to do seven miles to get to where we're camping. But uh, hopefully we'll make it there. Walking through this cool tunnel of protodendron or mountain laurel or whatever it is, but it's pretty. We got about two miles till we get to the top of uh, Sassafras, and once we get up there, we're gonna figure out uh, where we're gonna stop. If we're gonna go the whole 13.4, or if we're gonna cut it a little short, but uh, we'll see. This is the campsite right before you get to uh, Sassafras. It may be a mile and a half, two miles before Sassafras. Not 100% sure. But they got this nice fire pit with these 10 or so chairs, stone chairs around. And it's pretty cool, but also it's kind of creepy at the same time. I don't know if they have some kind of like witch seances or something like that. But there's a, it's a nice, nice place. I think it was an old, some kind of old homestead. There's like an old chimney right there, and there's tons of camping spots out through here. And there's a little side trail down through that way, I believe, that has um, water. But or actually, it's over there, down through that way. But yeah, there's campsites all through here. But uh, yeah, so we're headed up to. Sassafras and then we're gonna figure out what the plan is from there and we got about three three to four miles after we get the Sassafras to complete today but we're debating on whether we should cut it short and add those miles on to another day or just move it on but we'll figure that out shortly well we just got to the parking lot at Sassafras Mountain and as you can see it's pouring down rain it's been doing like this most of the day i'm using my phone but it's hard to mess with because everything's wet the phone's wet my hands are wet and we're standing under this awning right here that's drying us off a little bit this is what we look like we're all wet and nasty disgusting <laughs> disgusting ready to go to bed Four more miles. <laughs> Less than four. Less than four, yay. This is a Sassafras wow. overlook. I think this was built back in 2010. Is that a lake over there through those? The plan for it was in 2010. Uh, well, the, the plans for this was in 2010. I don't know when it was built. I don't know if that's a lake, but you see that big rock face? Yeah, there's a nice rock face out through that way. Can you see it good on your phone? Yeah. Come to this side so you can get all of it. Then there's a lot of fog still. Look at it rising up though. And it's just now quit raining, so we're loving that. Because it's pretty chilly out here when you're wet and the wind's blowing. Uh -huh. It's freezing. Get a shower of the goosebumps. It's freezing. <laughs> yeah. Freezing. Freezing. Woo, you got in here too close. Oh, sorry. Pretty good. My hair's standing straight up. <laughs> we, we just Carolina? made it to Sassafras Mountain. 
This mountain is the highest uh, peak in South Carolina, the highest point in South Carolina. 3,553 feet. Ooh. Yeah. When we came up here, we found a bench. And that's awesome. Tell me your philosophy on uh, benches. My philosophy on benches. If somebody builds a bench somewhere, you need to use it. Because <laughs> they right. went through all that hard work to get that up there. And sometimes you just need a break as well. This is our view from Sassafras. It's uh, pretty cloudy because it just got down for down night. And the clouds haven't moved yet, but by tonight and in the morning, we should have a nice sunny day. But the trail continues that way. And it's a pretty trail. But we're try, gonna try to make it close to Laurel Valley tonight. And we're 66 and a half miles away from Oconee, so we're getting there. This is the section of white pines that were replanted in 1972. So it's like an old little walk, uh, logging road that we're kind of walking through right now. We've got about two and a half miles left to our camp today, and that'll make it what 13.2? Yeah. 13.2 for the day. So, this is what you do when you encounter a bear <laughs> you make a lot of noise. Talk about a rush, man. Chris is working on putting our tent up. We've got our tree way off up in that direction that we're going to bear hang our food from. But it's a nice little campsite that we're sharing by ourselves here. Uh, we're going to get our tent up and get ready to eat. We completed 13.2 miles today, and it's about 7 o'clock. Well, this is day two on the Foothills Trail. We slept um, down there. You can't really see it from here, but we, we slept down there at a little tent site last night. And today we're going to try to get about 16 in. So uh -huh. hopefully... Well, 14 in, sorry. I'm trying to get 14 in today. Tomorrow is 16. Tomorrow is 16. So. But if we get 16 today. But if we get 16 today, it's all, it's all fine and dandy. So we'll see what we can do today. We got some cool stuff coming up. There's a campsite down through that way. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can see it. Maybe not. Who knows? But we got some cool stuff. Uh, we had trouble finding last night finding trees to hang our bear bag on which which sucked but that was about a 30 to 45 minute process trying to find a good limb to hang a bear bag on but yesterday it rained most of the day so we were all nice and wet we're dry now and we uh, only saw a handful of people yesterday nobody well, one guy was hiking, but he wasn't he wasn't very friendly or, or encouraging and we'll we'll tell you that story later, but we saw a lady um at a Sassafras just hanging out I guess and then another guy drove up and he was gonna hike but he didn't want to hike in the rain. So and we saw a park ranger at Table Rock. So that was the only people we saw yesterday so we'll see how today goes um but yeah we are, we're at the jocassi gorge management area we are getting ready we've been about 1.2 miles this morning we've got several more to go um we're headed to a pony state park but today we're going to go through the jocassi gorge management area we've got some waterfalls on our trip so we'll make sure that we get some video of that and we'll see you later up on virginia hawkins falls 
Uh, we've been, how many miles have we been today? Roughly seven. We've been about seven miles today. Got close to six or seven more to do. But this is, uh, what was the name of this place? Virginia Hawkins This is Falls. Virginia Hawkins Falls. There's a nice camp spot here. That's nice. It's pretty. That's pretty. Benton Bridge. It's the first one we've come across on the trail so far. Right. You know it's I really know. cool. Bouncy. Okay, here's Laurel Falls. We made it to the line of a gorgeous state park in North Carolina. So we're entering North Carolina right now. We're probably a mile from our campsite and we are ready to get there. That's Lake Jocassi. It's a really, really pretty lake. It's a little camp spot on the beach right there. It's nice. That's beautiful. How you take a bath in the woods? <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> 